The current administration has given SNL its best ratings in years, but apparently they're not changing any minds. Now, some media analysts claim it's actually causing a bigger divide in America. <laughs> so is comedy now the problem? I mean, it no, was okay. first it was the fake news people, <laughs> then it was this. Then it is. Comedy is the reason we're laughing, not crying. I think the whole point is it's something we can share in, and every administration, every party in the, from the beginning of time has been able to laugh at this. Sarah Palin was one of the people that laughed the hardest with Tina Fey. Yeah. Yes, so right. you've got to be able to recognize <laughs> when you take that. this place. She, were mad. she laughed yeah, at it. Yeah, at the moment. But then she went downhill after Well, it, yeah. <laughs> it didn't end well for her. But I mean, you've got to be able to laugh at this stuff. Yeah. It yeah. unites people. They're equal opportunity offenders. Yeah. No one gets off. There's it's also a lot of finger pointing from the administration where it's, you know, it's comedy. It's, you know, it's 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 the media. It's And at some point that does become tiresome. I mean, it, at some point, <laughs> you know, you're you you may be the maybe pe maybe people are having a hard time with you or you know maybe it's your administration like own something. You know, of it. all I know is comedians took down Nixon and we will take him the Trump down. <laughs> <laughs> I, just wait. I do think Hang on there. Thought it'd be the lawyers on the front line. It's the lawyers comedians. or the journalists, but, comedians. but I, I do think that that <laughs> laughter is the best medicine for these things. Yeah. You know, I have a lot of family members that um, are in the military and that served in the military. We were talking this weekend about how people go to the USO and they and they enter, comedians yeah. entertain the troops right. and how very important that was yeah. for them. Al well, Franken did it. coming on who did it. He said Al it was the best thing he ever did. And my, my family members were like, this is, we look forward to that because it's such a difficult job to do and that comedian that comes makes a world of difference. Yeah, but so, they don't like it because they're making, they're making fun of him, basically. So? They're push, holding they make up fun a, of everybody. They're holding yeah. up a mirror to how Where ridiculous and insane that this he is. this is part of the job, except for this guy. Yeah. Yeah. He, and, and the idea that he thought everybody was going to go, well, okay. But see, when you're doing stuff that doesn't make sense to people, <coughs> even people with no sense of humor start to recognize there's an issue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. know, people start to go, wow, that's not even funny. Right. <laughs> he can't laugh at himself. So, he has, he has basically no humor. basically writes itself yeah. right now. It people, it's just interesting, though, because we've had guy, presidents. Jesse Waters, his name is, on Fox. Oh, yeah. He says that the uh, Bertha thing that Trump was perpetuating for how many years yeah. was a Time. joke. I mean, a joke, if you don't get a laugh the first, even well, the second the time, joke. Just that, was not, the joke. that actually was he not a this joke. joke for how many years? That, yeah. that is not well, a joke anymore. Yeah. That was not a joke, and that was actually very detrimental to the conservative movement, because you had these clowns out there not enough. that were saying, no, oh, oh, Bob Ross and all yeah, but you know what? here, and they but were the, clowns. But, they were all, those, the but all those folks that you're always so kind to when you talk about them, not one of them had a pair of cojones to say, this is not true. Right. And not one of them. Not one of them. You see, when all you want to do is win, you'll accept anything. And the next thing you know, you got a new hand signal that you're doing for the person who's running your country. You know, by the way, Whoopi, when I had my other show on HLN, I interviewed Melania Trump. And Melania doubled Trump down. doubled down that it was that he did that. not have the legitimate birth certificate. Well, yeah. this is coming so from someone that. whose when, birth certificate we've never beauty. questioned. Okay, what? no one's ever questioned no. her birth certificate. No. No. Because... <laughs> And the reason, and I, I say this, and, and the reason we don't do that is because that does not, you know, when you run for president, they, they vet you. Mm -hmm. They look yeah. at your stuff. They go through your stuff. Of course. You know? <clears throat> but saying to someone you're not an American because is not a way to make your point. Right. So we don't question these it's things. It's more of a class bully than a class clown. Well, like, yeah. it reminds you of someone that's just that's jousting. Right. That's you know? right. Yeah.